Hello everyone. I am Dr. Pooja Mohabe, Assistant Professor, Department of Chemistry, Radha Ramachal Thakur Sindhu Mahavidyalaya. Today we are going to study about the topic thermodynamics. So, uh, what is mean by thermodynamics? First of all, this term thermodynamics it comes from a Greek letter that is therm and dynamics, where the therm means heat and the dynamics means motion or movement. So we can say that thermodynamics is nothing but a study of flow of heat. So uh, usually we study about the flow of heat from a hotter region to a colder region. So that is thermodynamics, that is study of heat or flow of heat. So let us see some of the definitions. Uh, thermodynamics is a study of effect of work, heat, energy of a system. Uh, before going to the actual content, let us see some of the um, term terminologies. So uh, this is a system that is a matter or a mass which is under study is called a system and the uh, surrounding is whatever is outside the system is called its surrounding and the system and surrounding are separated by a simple boundary and that is called a system boundary. Now the system surrounding and boundary together comprise of a universe. So that is a universe that is all the system which is under study. Okay. Now we can say that uh, thermodynamics is studied only at a macroscopic level and not at a microscopic level. Now why we say that? Suppose we take a system at a microscopic level. That is we consider each and every molecule in the system. So if I consider one molecule in the system, can I study the heat change, the temperature change or any thermodynamic property that is um, enthalpy or whatever uh, we cannot study about each one molecule so at microscopic level the study is not possible at all so that's why we can say that we don't study thermodynamics at a microscopic level but we consider a system as a whole that is at a macroscopic level so this is all about the classical thermodynamics now uh, we have again categorized these uh, systems into three parts that is open system, closed system and isolated system. Now open system is the one in which we can exchange the mass and heat through the surrounding and that is called as open system that means it is open for a mass as well as a heat and in the closed system we can say that the mass cannot be exchanged but the heat can be exchanged. So this is a closed system that is it is closed for mass but not for heat exchange and uh, in isolated system we can say that neither heat is exchanged and neither mass is exchanged. So the system is totally isolated from the surrounding for mass as well as for exchange of heat. So mass and heat both cannot be exchanged in the system. Thanks for listening.